Hey, it's Will Ripley with jamplay.com. What we're gonna be getting into is all about the right hand, okay? So there's a few different videos that we're gonna get into here, and we're gonna split these up to not make this too, too long. And uh, so the first thing what we're, what we're gonna get into is just how to hold the pick, okay? So this will set you up for optimal guitar playing, okay? If you don't have this going on, then it's just gonna really mess with a lot of the other right hand techniques that I'm about to show you. Firstly, let's talk about what kind of pick, okay? Um, I would always suggest at least a medium pick, okay? So that's gonna be like at least a 0.73 um, in thickness. And so the reason for that is that we wanna be able to plow through the strings and make the body resonate of the guitar. So if you have a super light flimsy pick, um, that's gonna be really hard to play these single notes with any kind of like aggression or passion. Um, and also it's just gonna be hard to play anything fast. Whenever you come up with something that's like just any kind of like finesse, kind of like flashy lick or anything like that, you're gonna have some challenges with a flimsy pick. So like I said, um, I mean, I'm using a 1.14 millimeter pick um, and I would recommend you playing with at least a 0.73 or a medium level pick, okay? Just something that's gonna be, that's gonna have some sort of thickness to it. Now, how you hold it, okay? Let's, let's do this together, just to make sure you're doing this right. Firstly, what I want you to do is just have the pick out on the tip of your finger, just like this, okay? And it's kinda like, um, you know, you can see that the, the pick is just kinda sticking out just a little bit beyond my, my finger, right? And so, we don't want, want our pick sticking way out like this, you know, that's, that's gonna be really flimsy. Um, you know, there's just gonna be a lot of movement in there, right? So we wanna choke up on it a little bit, okay? So now here's the thing that most people miss out on, okay? Is this finger curl, okay? So what I end up doing is I curl my finger around the pick, okay? So now if I were to hold my pick out in front of you, you can see that now I'm able to rest it on the side of my finger. Okay, so many people will have their, their pick on the very tip of their finger like this, and they'll, they'll play like this. And anyways, like I said, it just doesn't line up with the, with the correct um, and optimal right hand techniques that I'm about to show you. So again, first step, put that pick so it's like an extension of your fingernail, and then put your thumb on it, and then curl your finger around the pick, okay? Again, I'll just show you that one more time. So we curl the finger around the pick, okay? So then if you were to tilt your hand down and take off your thumb, you might have to do that. It's like a little bit of a balancing act, but you should be able to rest the pick on the side of your finger, okay? And so what that does is it just sets your, your pick up for some, uh, some nice right hand placement and, and most importantly, it, it sets up your wrist on just a slight angle, okay? Because a lot of us think that we need to play our pick like mm. right on the string, you know? But the truth is, is that um, to play with any kind of finesse or speed, what we need to do is actually have most of the string on the edge of the pick, okay? And you'll get a feel for this as it goes on, because a lot of times when people start playing on the edge of their pick, um, it doesn't really sound as good as if you use the flat part of the pick, but this is all stuff that you'll, you'll be able to develop as you go on. But, um, so let's just do this, do this for a second. So there's this Dick Dale song, uh, who's the king of surf guitar, and the intro to a very famous movie called Pulp Fiction that sounds like this. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna just try that, okay? So all I want you to do is just play that low string as fast as you can, okay? And so what you're gonna have to do is use down and up picks, okay? Because there's no way that you can actually play that fast with just down strokes, right? As soon as I introduce down and up strokes, then we, uh, then we can play literally double the speed. And firstly, what that technique is called is alternate picking. Okay, because we're alternating our down picks and our up picks, all right? We've got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now make sure that your pick's on the side of your, of your finger and just see if you can just, just get that string going. And it doesn't have to be anything impressive. But what you'll notice is that um, 
if you compare that to this, if I were to play that, say, say if we use this, this technique, finger flat, um, and we're gonna use the whole edge of the pick there, okay? Now watch this. Right, there's no way I can play that fast. Now as soon as I curl that finger around, right, and um, and then the, the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually to rest your hand down. So that's what really ties in this whole finger curl is actually resting your palm on the bridge of the guitar. Now, on a Gibson style guitar, we've got a bridge here. Um, basically, wherever your saddles are, right? Wherever these little pieces are, where, like the string guides, um, that's the area that, that you wanna try putting your hand down on. So, tying in a few different techniques here, okay? So we got our finger curl, get our hand down, we got our finger curl around, around the pick, okay? We got alternate picking, okay? And I just wanna show you the differences between all these techniques and, and, um, and yeah, and, and just how they're gonna set you up for optimal playing, okay? So, we got all those techniques in, and then we can motor on the string, right? So now, let's go the other way. Let's try finger flat, We'll go um, hand floating, right? We're doing everything opposite. And, but most importantly, we're gonna have a whole, like this whole flat part of the pick touching the string every time. Right? So, you be the judge. Or, all these little tweaks to your right hand will really, really, really set you up for optimal guitar playing. So again, we've got our finger curl around the pick, our hand down on the bridge, okay? And most importantly, I'm using this section of my hand right here, kind of like right, um, right on this, this cushy part of your thumb, okay? So we put that guy down on the bridge, and that's gonna solidify your, um, your right hand so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. And then we've got alternate picking, so we're gonna use down and up picks, right? And we'll talk about that more as, as we go on in these videos, but I just wanna throw that one at you. So when we're using our pick, what we're actually doing is actually hitting the side of the pick and the edge of the pick to get that speed and finesse, all right? So in the next couple of videos, we're gonna expand on this how to glide across the strings and you know when we're playing more than one string, okay? But you know, if we go back to that very first riff I showed you and that chromatic scale that I've shown you, now what you wanna do is integrate these techniques with those riffs. So for example, in that first riff I showed you, get that hand down and we're only gonna use down picks in that particular riff, but see if you can get that finger curl around the pick on the and pick on the edge of the pick. And what you'll find is that you'll have much more stability. It's really like the difference between walking with one leg and two legs once you get that hand down. You just have way, way, way more control, okay? And so whenever you're playing single notes, this is how you want to do it, is get that hand down, okay? Now for strumming, right? And we'll get into that in some future, future videos with me, but um, as you can see, I'm, I don't have my hand down for that kind of stuff, right? So I've got my hand floating, okay? But for single notes, for scales, you know, for these single note riffs and stuff, get that hand down, get that, uh, that pick on an angle, and all this kind of stuff that we've gone over in this video. So incorporate that into what you're doing already, and we'll catch you in the next one.